If you're a beginner in Blender and want an easy way to animate things, especially indoors or outdoor walking sequences, this video is for you. So buckle up and let's see what's going on. I have this scene which I get from Sketchfab, the CS Italy map. And if we want to animate a walk sequence just like the game, we could do it easily with one button. See in Blender, there's this button on the timeline called auto keying. Using this can generate key frames for any object transformation. Like if I have a ball, I can press the auto keying, then hit play animation and start moving the ball around the shot. Make it look like it bounced. And once you're done, you can stop the animation, turn off the auto keying and view what you have done, which might look rough here cause we're doing it all over the place. And there's a way to smooth it out, which we will see later. But you get the point. This tool is lifesaver in the times of need. Now back to the main stuff here, the walk animation, which we can get from the view menu under navigation. There you will see the fly and walk at the end. The fly is more like a drone, which is why we need the walk here. The walk will make you fly around by default and the shortcuts will appear at the bottom bar if you can see them. But once you hit the tab key or the G, you can turn on gravity. And this way, we can walk around on the mesh surface. If you press escape, it will go back to the first position you were at before the walk navigation. However, the left mouse button will keep you in the new position, so keep that in mind. The gravity settings are in the preferences, under navigation, and there, we can set the view's height and the jumping amount. In previous versions, the walk had the Shift F as a shortcut. They seem to change it, so we can right click on it and assign a new shortcut. I will go with the same as the last one, or even add it to the quick favorite menu. Now we can use the shortcut to easily enter or exit the walk navigation. All this, we talked about work with the camera, so we can just set a camera and put it in the starting view, might even adjust its focal length to include much of the shot, and try to darken the outside frame area to know what you're capturing. The steps are easy, but before we enable the auto keying, I need you to increase the frame number, the frame end, to a high number, something like 2000 or higher, cause the auto keying button not only generate, but also replace so we don't want it to overwrite anything by mistake. Now, hit spacebar to play animation, then start the walk from the shortcut or the quick menu. Once you start moving the camera around, you will see a number of key frames on the timeline, so it's working, and we can now proceed to use the walk around the place and capture whatever we want. The walk will put you at top of any small obstacles like a chair or a table, but not walls, and it's great to have a feeling of the ground geometry. Once you're done, you can use the left click to stay in place, then stop the animation and disable the auto keying. The animation we have here is around 1000 frames, and the start is a bit empty, so we can move all the frames, then change the end number to fit. We can now hit spacebar to play animation and see the record. It's quite smooth movement for a first person experience. Might be rough at some places, but I will show you how to fix that in a second. See if you open a graph editor by dragging the screen corner and make a work window on the side. You will see all the keyframes we did on the timeline. And you will also have two tools there. 
One is to fill those empty spaces between the keys, and that's with the bake keyframes under the key density. They used to call it sample keyframes if you're running on old versions. This will add extra keys where it's necessary for continuous motion. The other one is smooth key frames with the shortcut Alt-O. This one can stack over, so if you hit it 10 times, it will smooth the animation by a lot, which is good in many cases, but not here, because you will lose the feeling we get from walking on obstacles like the steps or the stuff thrown around. So maybe use it once or twice depending on the shot you have. But if you're aiming for butt smooth animation, be my guest and spam it as much as you want. The rest is the animation rendering. So fix your lighting, pick your render engine, set an area where you want to render the frames on your hard desk and hit render animation. And that's it. Do like and share if you're still in the neighborhood and see you next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.